at Cisco, we're all about connecting things. We're about connecting the world. In the manufacturing world, that means we connect plants. We connect factories, the digital factory. And the most important part of the digital factory are the people. We connect the workers. We enable them with the tools they need in today's society to quickly solve problems and keep the factory running. Cisco's put together a relationship with Realware because of their HMT1 headsets. From Cisco's perspective, this is a window into the digital factory. It enables workers with powerful solutions that include access to documentation, workflow instructions, and when they need to connect with a remote expert, it's there online. We start their journey with IoT visualization. The worker enters the plant and immediately has a heads-up display into the health of their factory. Green means areas are operating nominally. Red means there's a problem. They can quickly drill in to see which line is in trouble. And in that particular line, which machine is impacted. They can bring up a photo of that machine, or a digital twin, if you will, with access to key dashboard information on performance. I can easily spot whether or not I have too much vibration on a spindle and take action. That may mean accessing through my HMT1 headset instructions on the repair, or if I'm out of my depth and I need expertise, with one voice command and my hands free, I can bring in an expert from anywhere around the world to immediately help me triage, debug, and solve this problem. These problems plague the manufacturing industry for billions of dollars a year and costly repair and downtime. So our partnership between Cisco and Realware helps us bring solutions to market that allow manufacturing companies to revolutionize the way they respond or prevent problems altogether. It's an important area where Cisco plans on spending a lot of time. We couldn't do a lot of this without companies like Realware by our side. I don't just want to tell you about this amazing solution. I want to show it to you. So let's go live into the factory where a connected worker is going to take you through exactly how they use this device to debug and keep the factory running. Jürgen, take it away. Thanks, Carl. So I'm Jürgen from, from Cisco. And I'm, the, in fact, the connected worker working in this connected factory environment. And I'm wearing this real VR HMT device because I need to be connected and get, I need to get all the information I need at my fingertips. So assuming I walk in the manufacturing plant in Foxborough, as you see here up the screen, and I directly spot within my HMT device that something is going wrong there in the east wing. Yeah? So the data there are provided from the data, from the machine, through the Cisco Kinetics platform, I see, hey, something is going wrong within East Wing. So I want to drill down on the problem. East Wing. East Wing. Oh, there are three production lines. And obviously, one production line is going in the wrong direction. Line three. There are three CNC lace machines running there, and two are not performing in the right quality. So I can directly drill down to the problem statement, LACE 2, and see a digital image of the machine. And I directly observe that from the parameter setting, yeah, two are correct, but the coolant pressure is not doing in the right direction. And if I do not get it right now, I can run a diagnostics, diagnostic, diagnostic, and obviously the pressure is too high. So at this point in time, I might have faced this problem a dozen of times, and every time the same machine, and I can fix it directly on site there. But in a lot of cases, I cannot do it right now because I'm just the field service technician there on the night shift, and I'm facing this problem for the first time. The coolant pressure is too high. The real-time data are provided to me, but the coolant pressure is too high. What should I do? And I do not know what to do. And in order, I could shut it down now, and then I make a, make a lot of losses there due to the downtime of the machine. But instead of that, I can call an expert immediately. Call expert, and I directly move into my expert environment. So I see which experts I could contact and which expertise I have access to. So, for example, select item two, make call. So the call comes through on the mobile device 
of the remote expert. The technician was called Isabel. It's connecting here. I switch to the video call. And the remote expert sees what I see. So the remote expert can directly take action, advise me in real time what do I need to do in order to fix the problem. Terminate call. So you're assuming I got the right working instructions, the right expert online, could directly get the right tips how to, how to fix the problem, get the machine up and running, get the coolant temperature in the right way and can navigate back and see that everything is running correctly. So using this fantastic RealWear HMT1 device, I got all the information I needed at my fingertips. I was alerted that something is going wrong. I directly could drill into the problem statement. And the moment I could figure out that I cannot fix it on my own, I can get remote expert support in order to get the right instructions to fix the problem. And therefore, after minutes, everything was up and running again and everything is in green status and performing like expected.